welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name is Matt, and in this session, we're going to go over the filters to dynamic sidechain button here. That's in every channel. The button is right here up in the input section, and it's also right here in the EQ section. And you'll uh, you can turn them on uh, both from right there and right here. And what this does is it allows you right from the mixer here to use the high pass and the low pass uh, uh, sections here in the EQ uh, to filter out a specific frequency that you can send in the, into the compressor to sidechain. And you're, there's no cables to hook up or anything. You do it right from the mixer. Now let me show you how easy it is to use. Basically all you do is you, you, know, you turn it on and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit this switch here and you want the dynamics post EQ because you want the EQ to be going into the, the compressor. And when this is active, I want to show you, in the Spectrum EQ window, watch what happens. You'll see the low pass, high pass filters here. When you turn this on, they're no longer affecting the channel uh, uh, EQ, if you will. The, all they're doing is now they're being used as a uh, a frequency selector for side chaining that you can send to the compressor. So what you can do here is uh, you can turn on you know before you turn this on you can listen to the track and you can kind of find out exactly where the frequency is that you want to uh, hone in on. Filters to dynamic sidechain is super. So let's turn this on. Filters to dynamic sidechain is super. So, so that that's the frequency I want to get, those S's. I want to get those S's. So I've got my my uh, high pass in there and it, it's it's you know, it's uh, singling out that frequency. So now I'm just going to turn on the, the side chain to uh, dynamic side chain, <laughs> the filters to dynamic side chain. I'm going to turn on the compressor and I'm going to set a reasonably high ratio and a reasonably high threshold. And I'm going to set it to fast. And let's see how it affects it. Filters to dynamic side chain is super. And we can mess with the, the, the to dynamic side the release here is super filters to dynamic side chain is super filters to dynamic side chain is and you can mess super. with the the high pass a little filters to dynamic side chain is super so there you go. Filters to I'm DSing. Watch the lights. Chain is super. It's just on the S's. Filters to dynamic side chain is super. Filters to dynamic side chain is super. So let's listen to it off. Filters to dynamic side chain is super. On filters to dynamic side chain is super. So right there, I use the filters to dynamic sidechain feature that's right in the mixer. I didn't have to cable off anything. I didn't have to bring in a compressor. It's all right here in the mixer. And now I can use this signal. I can go in here and uh, um, I can bring in a, uh, an insert or whatever and affect my sound. But I've just DS'd the channel. Let me show you how we can use this in another way. So I have this 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 uh, base part, this NNXT, you know, it's just a base part. And what I want to do is make the kick stand out a little bit more right when the the bass hits. See how the the bass is, guitar is hitting right at the same time as the kick. I want to have that the kick be a little bit more prominent. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on the filters to side chain. I'm going to make sure that I have the dynamic post EQ. The EQ is going into the dynamic section. And I'm going to turn on the bass here and just listen to it. You can see the frequency. And we can even uh, solo it.
So we can turn on the low pass and, and let's hear, hone in on it. Let's uh, turn on our side chain and our compressor. Let's get a little uh, ratio up here, a little threshold. Let's make it fast because it's quick. We can kind of see the compressor reacting. And let's see how we can dial this in. threshold there you go so now listen hear the how the kick is a little bit more prominent on so that's really how simple it is to use this this killer feature on the mixer to, to do some side chaining right from the mixer without cabling in anything and you can you can pretty much hone in on any frequency uh, right here in the uh, the spectrum analyzer EQ here you can go in and you can uh, suggest you do it with it on and you just kind of hone in and watch, look at the wave file and find the the, the frequency that you want to use to si you know send into the compressor to control the volume because that's all a compressor is it's a volume control a leveling control and it it's a really cool feature right in the SSL mixer well I really hope this helps you guys out and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And just, le just to let you know, we now have an official Learn Reason Google Plus community. And uh, come on and stop by. Uh, let me know what you're thinking. Ask questions. Uh, that's a really cool place to ask the questions. Of course, you can ask questions on Facebook, Twitter, and on the LearnReason.com website. Plenty of options. And uh, Learn Reason is all about helping people learn how to use Propellerhead Reason software, and, you know, for all of us to help each other become better musicians. So, you guys take care.